What is up guys, Dozo3 here, and we just did the most feared overview in Madden. We're gonna switch it on over to Destiny 2 now. This is my first video in the Forsaken DLC. We're gonna go over the, what the fuck, Festival of the Lost, that's what that shit's called. Um, they've been doing it since Destiny 1. This time it's actually much better than the ones in Destiny 1. My computer's making fucking noise. Can you shut the fuck up? Anyway. So when this shit loads, we're gonna go over Festival of the Lost. Is it worth your time playing? Short answer is yes, it's actually pretty fun. There's a new mode, which I wish they would just leave in because it's actually fun to play. But I forgot this game doesn't load. Ah. Can you load, please? Oh my god! Just started this broadcast after it fucking loaded. I have to work in like two hours. It's gross. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm wearing a Michael Vick jersey because the Giants play the Falcons tonight. And every time I wear a Giants jersey, they fucking lose. So I'm going to wear a Falcons jersey. And by reverse psychology, they're going to win. Can't argue. So it looks like we finally loaded. In short, the grand prize, if you will, from Festival of the Lost, right here, I got it, is Horror Story. It's an origin story, but Horror Story. Aha, uh -huh. you get it. So Horror Story is what you can get out of this. Uh, you get masks, like you always did. This is the Master Rahul mask in action. They have zero light, but they actually do give you buffs for the Haunted Forest, which we're going to get into. It's actually very cool. It's the Infinite Forest, but they redesigned it to be a horde-based game. And I'm going to do it. I'm just going to apply these upgrades, because why not? So, in the forest, you pretty much lose light at the expense of having a mask that actually is going to help you. So, you're wondering how do you get these things. You, get, you have to get these fragmented souls. So, we're going to go to the tower, and I'm going to show you how to get some. There are engrams, of course, for Festival of the Lost. You get them when you level up. So, they're not too terribly hard to get. I realized I'm in game chat right now, which is really gross. I'm going to see if I can, like, change that. I don't want to be in game chat. These broadcasts are for special folk only. So, let's see. Oh. Voice output. Yeah, no shit. Making it only party. Okay, did that throw off like all my fucking sinking and shit? Because normally that does. Every time I do a fucking party, eh, I don't give a fuck. Whatever. Alright, so we're gonna go. If it threw off my sinking, it happened last time I did that in like a two hour strike stream too. That was fun. I hope it didn't. If it did, sorry. Whatever. So the ship I'm driving actually is the ship from Festival of the Lost called the Infected Seeker. Pretty cool. Um, I've been saving up all my Bright Dust through pretty much the first year. So if you do that, you're in luck. Go buy Festival of the Lost shit now because you won't be able to get it until next year's Festival of the Lost. So just buy Festival of the Lost stuff now if you saved your Gold Dust or Bright Dust. I think there's emotes. I don't have any though. There are emblems as well. I'll show you the triumphs while we're going into the tower. They added triumphs for the events. You get a triumph just for getting the gun, which I did do. There's a first milestone, which I did. Um, let's see. So you actually get some shit. Tower has different music. Pretty litty. Very spooky for Spooktober. Fucking stupid. So right now, the main person you talk to in this event, you can see the cluster of people, is Amanda. She will be giving you your bounties. She will be giving you prizes. Amanda is pretty much your person for this event. And here we go. Shut the fuck up. I'm talking, not you. So, rewards, horror story. You need 120 fragments. So you get five, uh, four bounties a day. Sorry, five. And they each give you one. Oh, I'm gonna pick a couple up. I don't need them, but I'm gonna pick them up. 
Do them if you want. And then there's a weekly bounty, which I've already done. You can pick it up once. You get 40 fragmented souls and 7 masterwork cores. Obviously, that is the big thing you want. You also get a fighting lion with its exotic um, masterwork ready. You just gotta fill the masterwork and get the upgrade done. But you get the masterwork version of fighting lion just for turning on Festival of the Lost. And it drops at a decent light. So, you can do this one time. And here's your masks. You can get them with different amounts of fragmented souls. There's a shader. You have to do a triumph, I guess, to unlock the shader. This is for 100 nightmare kills. I've done 51. You get 100 nightmare kills, you get that. And this is if you complete 7 waves, you get that. I keep getting 6 and I fail on the 7th. And horror story, again, just 120 fragmented souls. Not as hard as it sounds when you're playing. Basically, every day there's 5 bounties for 5 fragmented souls. So there you go. There's 5 a day, easily. You get 40 for the weekly bounty, which is 15 dailies. So after 3 days, you can have minimum, if you do all your bounties, 55 bounties. 5, 5, 5 for each day. And then the big 40, just for completing the bounties you already did. So that's 55, which, after another 5 from dailies or whatever, is half the horror story. The other half of horror story, the only way to do it, and we're going to do a wave of it, is in the Haunted Forest. So the Haunted Forest is basically the infinite forest from Mercury. The first time ever it's actually been cool. You basically have to fight through waves of enemies till you hit 100%. When you hit 100%, you fight a boss. Rinse and repeat as much times as you can in 15 minutes. We're going to do one 15-minute go of it right now. And if you clear seven waves, nothing special happens. You just get the emblem, I think. So every nightmare you defeat, you get a fragmented soul. So let's say you do five. When you finish, your timer runs out, you get five fragmented souls. So just... Pretty much play that, do all your bounties. Not all your bounties are related to the horror forest. Um, most of them you just do outside of it, but there are some inside those ones I picked up. There's some of Lost Sectors, Heroic Adventures, Strikes, Crucible Kills, all of which you gotta wear a mask. You don't need to wear your mask, but they're only active in the horror forest, or haunted forest, whatever the fuck it's called. I'm gonna throw mine on because when you're in the haunted forest, the light's only 200. So you definitely want to wear your mask because you'll take a hit, but you get buffs. Significant damage resistance while airborne. Increases heavy ammo drops and increased damage to all enemies. So you definitely want to wear your mask. And this is Horror Story again, the gun. It is basically Origin Story, but, you know, Halloween-y. So we're going to use that and we're going to go into this. You can match make it with two other people. Or you can do the Firewalled Horror Forest. Haunted Forest. I don't know why I keep saying Horror Forest. It's fucking stupid. And that is a solo run. Pretty much every... Oh, and your ghost actually is a light. This guy stops. I can show you. He has a servitor mask. That's pretty lit. But here we go. Your ghost is your light. Which after Cade, we should have learned. So basically, you need percentages. And now that we start shooting, the timer will kick off. So here we go. Excuse my horrible aim. So we've entered it. I don't know why it's not, you know, giving a shit yet. A lot of blues drop from this, guys. Try to avoid them. And just dismantle them from your postmaster. Another tip I would have would be... If you die, let your teammate res. Because if you res yourself, you go all the way back to the start. And in a timed event, that can be crippling. Ah, yeah. So, there should be percentages on the left side of the screen. There aren't. Because there should be percentages as you're killing these enemies. For some reason, they're not dropping right now. So, we are just going to kill these things, I guess, and see what happens. Normally, once you enter the forest, it begins. In your 15 minutes, we'll start counting down. There we go. Okay. It just started. I don't know why it just started. There are the demons. Just like in the normal. They give you more. This motherfucker, you'll deal with him. He's the invincible nightmare. You can't kill him. We'll see more of him later. I'm not going to tell you why. It's actually pretty cool the way he's in the game. So he's going to help us for now. But once he's pissed at us, he's going to try to kill us. Like right about now. So leave. And every enemy's 2%. So a thrall has no more value than a minotaur. So leave bigger enemies behind because they take time. 
and just drop small enemies. Again, if you have three people, it goes significantly faster. You might think there's no difference between two and three. It is a huge difference. So we only have two people. I don't know how fast we'll get these done and how far we'll get. My goal is to do like three or four with two people. With I've gotten to wave seven, but the problem is when the timer hits zero, it lets you finish. Why are you here? Go away. It lets you finish what you're doing. So if you're on the seventh wave, timer hit zero, you will get to keep doing the wave, but it doesn't count for your overall wave progress. Which is kind of irritating. So basically what I'm trying to tell you is you can be on wave seven, but if you don't finish wave seven before triple zeros, it doesn't count. And we just got a third person, so this wave could change. Also, guys, use your supers pretty much every boss you get. I know you want to save them, but chances are you'll get them back for the next boss because everyone will generate orbs of light. Or if you have a masterwork weapon like I do now with Horror Story, you can generate them yourself. Um, it is dark. Things can kind of come up quick on you, so don't jump everywhere carelessly. You could die. So we're at 88, so at this point, we should just try to kill everything. Yellow enemies don't give you more than reds. However, the demons will give you more. So we get the shank. There are different bosses. This guy's unloading on him. You can really drop. I've dropped bosses in 10 seconds before. It's fully, like, see how quick you can drop these bosses insanely fast if you use the right supers. So this really is the centerpiece of Festival of the Lost. There's not much going on outside of the game. Or really outside of this for Festival of the Lost. Iron Banner's going on. Quite frankly, I don't care about Iron Banner. I don't know how long it lasts. It's been going on this entire week. And today's Monday, so it doesn't end tomorrow. I think it ends probably in November. Which is going to suck because this mode is really fun. So the one thing I was hoping Bungie would take out of this is we like this. So if they can find a way to leave this in the game, it'd be better. I mean, it's already programmed in the game. I mean, th this is the best use of the Infinite Forest. More so, better than the entire Osiris expansion. This is actually enjoyable. And I mean, you can attach like an armor set to this and then give you better rewards depending how far you get. Maybe have timer mods. I don't know. It, it This could be something. And it doesn't have to be haunted. You can just do the regular infinite forest. But this idea is really, really good. And I really do enjoy it. And it's just something additional for us to do. Because real, a lot of the times, just playing the crucible, doing strikes, doing missions, it gets really dry. So even though I want my light to be up, I'm not willing to do the same shit all over again every single week. I have other games to play. So Bungie... Oh, that motherfucker! Why are you here? Go away! You know what, buddy? Come at me. Oh, fuck! Okay. I did not know he was a one-shot. I don't know if anyone's gonna res me. I tell you not to res yourself, but if you're at above 90%, res yourself. Because your teammates can easily plow down the last five enemies you need. Juke, you bitch! So yeah, that guy, the Invincible Nightmare, Pretty much runs around the entire time you're trying to play except for nightmare boss fights and you don't know when he's gonna show up he literally comes out of nowhere and he tries to hit you all right so my super's almost ready to come back this time we got a cabal nightmare um there are different levels of like bulkiness i guess you could call it the bosses that look bulkier generally are a little bit however i did melt an ogre really really quick See, I didn't put one bullet on the boss and we killed him. It's not hard to drill. It's not really not hard to drill these guys. That's what I wanted to use on the nightmare. I wanted to give him a red card. But I accidentally went fishing with him and I got killed with an axe. So, you can get oofed on. I have a no mic thing. Am I like not speaking right now? Okay, never mind. I, for some reason, see the no mic thing, but I hear myself on my computer. 
So I was just making sure that like, you know, trying to do a broadcast muted. It's happened before and I've uploaded them because things have happened like in Madden openings. Go away! All right, but either way guys, I think the big takeaway I have from this event is this shit's fun. And at this point, I think they should just turn it into a mode. Because number one, who the fuck goes to Mercury? Nobody will ever go to Mercury. Make this a mode. Let it, the infinite forest you can walk into for a mission. Yet the portal stands there, but if you're just patrolling, you can't go in. Make this a mode. We go to Mercury. We walk into the infinite forest. And we do this. Just light it up like normal. Make it not haunted. Because it's not Halloween. If it's, you know, when it's not Halloween, don't make it haunted. Maybe throw a haunted round in there every, I don't know, four or five. Either way. Make it a 15 minute thing. Make their timer mods like you used to have on the Nightfall Strike so we can get more time. And it's totally worth it. Because this is one of the more fun things I've done in this game. You know, Prison of Elders was something we all loved from D1. You know, horde based things are really good in Destiny. Yet they haven't really given us one in this game until this. And I, I don't consider Gambit like that. Gambit's its own separate thing. Come over here, I wait for you, you know I am. I don't know if this Damon will finish us off. Alright, here we go. A lot of drops, by the way. I get Prime Engrams most of the time I play this. So here we go, time for a rip. Drop sleeper on these guys. Honestly, getting to the boss is longer than the boss itself. If you have a Titan that can get you tempered metal, it's gonna be an easy fucking boss fight. So we lost the guy who died. This guy's doing damage. If you res yourself in here, the good news is you res in the boss fight. And this is why I use your super, because I'm halfway to my next one already. Let's not run off the map. So those are three nightmares down. I got the bounty done as well. So I'll show you what a bounty completion looks like now. So you got a fragmented soul. You get a you get frag you get one fragmented soul per bounty. Do the weekly because that's a huge chunk of it. And the seven masterwork cores are really nice. Also, the best thing is horror story. When you buy it, it's a 600 weapon, which is max. So your light's gonna go up. Holy shit! Die. So your light's gonna go up like 10. But on top of it, everything else that drops is going to be higher. Because I was like a 530 something when I got it. It boosted me to like 540. So now all my gear that's in the 530s is now getting like 550 upgrades. So you can really jump your light 20 or 30 by getting this weapon. Because not only is it a huge boost from say a 500 something weapon to a 600. All your other items that are upgraded get pulled because your base light's a hell of a lot higher now. So, super worth it. 120, you don't need to know life the game. I go to school and or work every day, so you really don't need to know life the game to get it. It probably took me a total of four or five hours of in-game playing to get it. So, I would do it. And Origin Story was my favorite weapon in year one. The fact that I have a year two version is really nice because origin story was probably one of the better legendary auto rifles not to mention it's got this cool halloween look to it i love tiger spite but i'm probably going to keep this thing even though my tiger spite is a god roll without lock kill clip so we have six minutes left we've cleared four branches i'm not Super fond of our chances here to get to seven Like I said when you hit zero you get to keep going until you finish your wave, but that wave doesn't count So you can finish your seventh wave and it will not count if you're at zero You need to finish the wave with time on the clock for it to count And that is kind of irritating is what it is though However, you do get the fragmented soul for the wave. So if you do seven, if you're in round seven and your timer runs out, you won't get credit for the seventh round towards the emblem, but you will get credit with a fragmented soul because you still beat a wave.
The impenetrable nightmare. That's debatable. So as you can see, drilling these nightmares with three people, easy shit to do. That's that. Give me that, come on. Got it. Yeah, nightmares are really easy. That's not the hard part. The hard part is the fragmented soul. Or, no, the Hong Forest. Getting through it. We have blackout right now, and I can tell you, walking around in the dark with blackout, which takes away your mini-map, can be challenging. The fucker always shows up here. I'm ready for a showdown. Where are you, bitch? What the fuck? What the fuck? So the enemies do get progressively a little more challenging as you go through the waves. But all of them, if your light's like 500, none of them are super impossible to take out. Can you die? Flip! If you're in the first little area, it's worth your own self-res, but otherwise, wait for someone to pick you up. So see, we're on our sixth right now. We're definitely gonna clear the sixth, but we're not gonna have time to do the seventh. That's why I always do six. Because if you can average two minutes around, which is pretty quick, you can get seven with a minute to spare. But every once in a while, there's a round where your team just doesn't do great and you die a lot. Typically for me, that's five or six. One time I was doing really good in like round four, we just stopped. I don't know how you can get through seven with the firewall. Firewall is a solo match one. You can't bring anyone else with you. No matchmaking. I don't know how that's doable to get to seven on your own. See, as you can see, we're gonna get six done, but getting to seven and beating the boss of seven with time, not happening. We will we will get to the seventh boss basically when you hit zero it just see now we're lost this is what happens this is why the blackout perk can really fuck you over because when you're within five minutes left every second just becomes super precious So we're definitely gonna get to the seventh boss because we're gonna beat the sixth with time to spare. But I just don't think we're gonna have enough time to spare to beat the seventh boss. Because our time, we'll probably time out in the middle of clearing the waves in six and seven. And see, this is where shit can get really frustrating. We're at 98%. So the time that could be spent killing a boss, we are now spending trying to find our way around the map. This is where you just lose. And Blackout absolutely cripples you. We don't know where... The, now, there's an enemy. I'm just going to whip out a sniper and just pop an Axis Harpy. Oh, my fuck! All right. So, now we're going into this. We're going to have two minutes left. We are going to have to crunch this boss in seconds... My lack of sniping ability definitely cost us 10 seconds. Con considering you can kill a boss in that, that's annoying. So we're going to have about two minutes, a little less, to finish this next wave. So yeah, we're going to have two minutes. Get a running head start. Here we go. Two minutes. Time to clutch up. Timer will not start till we start. Here we go. We have two minutes to do this. We got to clear the enemies, kill the boss. We have blackout and glass. Basically, they will throw these mods at you as you play, making every round a little more challenging than the last. Glass, basically, your health recharges twice as fast. You have half the health. 
Um, I don't know where he is right now, but that invisible nightmare or the invincible nightmare is definitely going to be somewhere. Drop your heavy, guys. At this point, we are in total desperation mode trying to clear this out. We're in a pretty much what do you have to lose state. How did that miss? 40% with a minute 20. There's the big boy. Just advance. The one enemy you can kill back there is not worth it when you can run up here. What the fuck? We just wiped. It's not a darkness zone, but we just lost because now we have to restart our run. So we had to do we had to do all this in less than a minute now. That big boy just that stupid motherfucker. He can teleport. As you might have seen. So now just kill shit at this point. Fuck! Stupid bitch! Stop! That might have been my most explosive. Oh my god, my computer was in my backpack. Oof! My school computer was in my backpack. Oops. That was definitely my most explosive rage. Son of a bitch! I've never gotten that mad at this stupid fucking game before. That was just straight anger. Holy shit. That was just... Wow. That was... I got fired up. Is anyone, like, home? Okay, good. Like, no one's home. So that... Okay. Stupid fuck. I've never been that mad. Like, we still had a chance until that fucker hit us both. Then I go right back in and he teleports behind me, hits me again. That's when I threw my shit. So we're going to be able to kill the round seven boss, but again, it's not going to count. See how quick you can do this? Like, look at- You stupid motherfucker. So that's how you do the haunted forest. Rage and all. Hope you enjoyed. That was probably my biggest unintentional flip shit on the channel. I flipped pretty heavy shit in Cluster Truck, but I knew playing Cluster Truck that was going to happen. I did not expect to violently throw my water bottle, backpack, and controller. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Next time, Dozer03, signing out.